Hello and welcome back to another project series where we are creating serverless registration form. So this is the step three of this project where we are going to create the Lambda function. In this step, we will create a Lambda function that will handle form submissions and store the data in our DynamoDB table. We will use Python as our Lambda functions programming language since it is easy to use and support the AWS SDK for Python that is Boto3 library. Once we have created our Lambda function, we can move on to the next step where we will write the Lambda function code itself, right? So let's get into our AWS management console and see how we can create the Lambda function. So before going ahead and creating the Lambda function, a quick recap. So we have created the DynamoDB table and we have also created an IAM role with the name of form registration form role, right? So why am I saying this? Because that is needed while creating the Lambda function, right? So to create a Lambda function, log into your AWS management console and just search for Lambda and you will be landed into a page like this. And all you have to do is click on this create function. I'll click on create function and here you need to select author from scratch, right? Because we are going to write the function from scratch. So here I need to fill in some basic information. So such as function name. So you need to copy the function name here. If you want, you can use your own name, but I would like to keep things simple. So I'm just going to copy from my GitHub repository. So I'll paste the function name here. Runtime, make sure to select Python 3.9. That is the latest version. Architecture, leave that as default. Permission, we have created an IAM role. Remember in the previous video, we need to attach that IAM role here to this Lambda function. So I'll just click on use an existing role. Here it will give you all the IAM roles that you have already created. So our role name was registration form role. So I'll select that. If that is not appearing, you can just type in. I will not touch the advanced settings. I'll keep everything else as default and next I'll click on create function. So this is all you have to do in the step three where we have created the Lambda function. So in the next step, we will write the Lambda function code and see how we can test it, right? So if you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.